Welcome, folks, to the start of an absolutely unprecedented Royal Rumble. And the fisherman, the fisher of men, is done already. Jesus' ex Jesus's signature move. And Jesus just lays into himself. And as you can see, the Son of God has somehow found a way of replicating himself. Which is going to put him at a distinct advantage. Son of God going, laying into himself. And there's four Jesuses. Four Jesuses in the ring. And they're just laying into each other. Oh my God, just laying the smack down. Jesus laying the smack down on Jesus. And Jesus just booted out Jesus. But now Jesus is in the ring. And, and what's this? It's the fisher of men. Jesus' finishing move. Devastating. Of course, Jesus has one other finishing move, but it's the fisher of men again. And it's Twister. Twister's in the ring. But there's Twister against four of four Jesuses. How can this work? Twister tries a backdrop. But can it? Is it safe? Jesus doesn't seem to even be paying attention to this, not even taking Twister as a proper rival. And now who's this? It's the Hurricane! The Hurricane, who is actually the odds-on favourite to win the Royal Rumble, has literally won the most Royal Rumbles in these games. And Twister! Is this Twister going to be out? But no, Jesus! In some sort of crucifying sort of, you know, putting his arms out you know, sacrifices his own place in the Royal Rumble, potentially, to let Twister have a second chance. Alright, and now Twister's going at it. Uh, laying into Jesus. Jesus is laying into Jesus. Jesus is out the ring. Twister could be out now. And the Hurricane's smashing up Jesus. Hurricane, of course, probably going to win this, as he always does. And the Hurricane takes out Twister, of course he does. <gasps> Jesus! Jesus takes out the Hurricane! Suddenly this is everything to play for. The Hurricane, the odds-on favourite to win. Pretty much everyone put their money on the Hurricane. But now it's Rey Mysterio, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. And Jesus is just flinging him from corner to corner corner and Jesus seems to have put another Jesus out there's only two Jesuses left and what's this this is the undertaker the undertaker tries to put Jesus out <clears throat> but Jesus gangs up on <laughs> the undertaker <laughs> and Rey Mysterio doesn't quite know what to do and what's this it's another Undertaker. The Undertaker's managed to clone himself too, although there seems to be one from his past. What's going on? Is this some time travelling? Who knows? Is it part of a plot? But how is this possible? We're all seeing them right in front of our eyes. It's the Undertaker and the Undertaker versus Jesus and Jesus and Rey Mysterio. And and the Undertaker's taking out Jesus and his monstrosity. Most oh Jesus is out, there's only oh there's two more Jesuses, there's just so many. And here's the monstrosity. Rey Mysterio seems to be gone. Monstrosity doing a devastating backbreaker onto Jesus. And what's this? The Fisher of Men Yes I can't believe it. It's horrible. But I can't look away. Could this be the end of Jesus? No. Jesus <laughs> doing that cross standing thing is quite funny. And who's this? Who's this? It's Sergeant Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter featured in the G.I. Joe cartoon movie, which was kind of amazing. And The Undertaker. No! A front sl slam to Jesus. And and who's this? The new person. It's John Cena. It's John Cena. John Cena just takes out The Undertaker. And now he starts laying into Jesus. 
John Cena, is he going to take out Jesus? No, just looks at him with respect. Jesus just kicks him the fuck out, but uh, sacrifices himself again in the name of I don't know what. So John Cena's back, and now Monstrosity takes Jesus out. There is one Jesus left, and who's the new person? It's Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon, the ruler of WWE, the wrestling god, the man who owns everything. And, and it's the people's elbow. Jesus did the people's elbow on John Cena. Oh, and John Cena's still standing after that. I can't believe it. And who's this now? Goldberg! Goldberg, the savage spearer! Goldberg, and who's the new person? It's Eddie Guerrero! Eddie Guerrero! One of the greatest superstars in wrestling history! And what's happening now? Eddie Guerrero just takes out John Cena, probably reeling from the people's elbow. From the Prince of Peace himself, the Son of God, Jesus. Someone just left the ring there, I couldn't keep track. Oh my God, who's left? Eddie, it was Eddie, Eddie's gone and now it's Goldberg. Goldberg laying into monstrosity, monstrosity goes down. It was kind of an atrocity. <laughs> so, and now it's Rowdy Roddy Piper. He's, you know... He's got gum and ass, and he's all out of gum. So now he's got to kick ass. Who's he going to kick the ass of? He goes for Goldberg. He does a suplex, a vertical suplex. And who's this? It's Frill Boy. Frill Boy. Oh my God, is Rowdy P Roddy Piper going to go? No, he's all right. Frill Boy. Frill Boy just taunting the crowd. And now is Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam delivering it. Oh, Frill Boy just taking out Rob Van Dam. Oh, you poor fucker. And Jesus laying into Goldberg, flinging him from corner to corner. And who was that that just went out? I can't even remember. At the mesh of bodies. Oh my god, so many gone. Roddy Roddy Piper. Rob Van Dam. And who's left? It's Tajiri. Tajiri. Tajiri, traditionally not good at Royal Rumbles, usually gets kicked out, thrown over the turnbuckle very soon. But Tajiri, holding his own against the Son of God. The Son of God summoning a. A copy of himself to take on Tajiri. Tajiri holding his own against two son, two Jesuses. And who's this come to help? It's Brock Lesnar, the human gorilla, the mass of muscle. And he's just going for Tajiri. He does his finisher. Oh, the F5. I think that's what it's called, at least in the finisher thing. And another Jesus, what is this? There's three Jesuses and they're just laying into each other. I thought the Trinity was meant to be, you know, united and stuff. And so Jerry tries to suplex Brock, but just can't do it. And Brock Lesnar just smashing up to Jerry. Again, the Son of God, there's now four of them. This isn't the Trinity anymore. This is blasphemy. But now one of them's gone. And Brock Lesnar doing an even more powerful F5 onto to Jerry's broken body. The Son of God teaching Brock Lesnar a lesson but giving him a second chance and a third chance. How many times will you forgive him, Lord? Will it be seven? Will it be seventy times seven? No, it will be twice. And now, four Jesuses. This is wrong, there can't be four. The God, Ted is only three. And Jesus runs at Jesus. And, oh, one of the Jesuses is out. And it's just Tajiri and three Jesuses. But Tajiri... And Jesus is are reeling into Jesus. Jesus kicks out of Jesus just before another Jesus ends his keeping up the triple Jesus thing. And Tajiri's still about. 
to Jerry. To just me not very good. Four left. Um, not many people left. There's not three Jesuses. This has to be another Jesus that comes out to make the Trinity. Oh, it goes to Jerry. There's just two Jesuses. And what's this? It's Frau Gao. Frau Gao. The trans woman. Who I'm in the middle of designing. She has all the moves of Jesus. She has all the stats of Jesus. She has everything Jesus has. But she looks nothing like him. Jesus, not very happy about this abomination. This blasphemy to the Jesus' name. Frogau just spearing Jesus. Frogau doesn't give a fuck if this is blasphemy. <laughs> Two Jesuses. And who's this? It's the rock. The rock's coming out. And who's the other person? It's Triple H. The rock attacks... The Prince of Peace, the and The Rock DDT's Triple H. Yay, I don't like Triple H, but I like to watch him suffer. Ah, uh, and now, oh no, a devastating sharpshooter from Frogau. And now The Rock. What's The Rock doing? Oh my god, The Rock, Triple H and Jesus in a freeway punch-up. Who survived that? It wasn't Triple H. And Fro Gao finally doing something, climbing the time back around. Oh my god, going for the pin of Jesus, but there can be no pin in the Royal Rumble. The only way you can take someone out is through putting them over the top rope. Alright, Triple H attacking The Rock. No. The people's champ stays in. And Jesus. Frogau almost takes out the last Jesus. Can Jesus be beat? There's no one left. One of these superstars will win. Will it be The Rock? Triple H. Jesus. Oh, Frogau. Frogau really laying into Jesus. Oh, and Jesus is out, the Son of God is out of this. He replicated himself twelve times, but it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Possibly eleven times. And now Triple H and Fro go. Rock and Triple H. Triple H. Oh, that was a low move from Triple H. The Cerebral Assassin, working away on the crotch of the rock. Obviously a trademark of Triple H is that he works away on a particular area of you. And, oh no, Frogo, please say in yay. And then it weakens you and stuff. Triple H going for the crotch. But the rock doesn't give a fuck. Could this be it? It's anyone's game. No, not The Rock. The Rock's gone. And now it's Triple H and Frogo. They've beaten Jesus. They've beaten The Rock. And now it's only each other. Frogo, Triple H missing each other as they lunge for each other. How do they have ter such terrible depth perception? These athletes at the top of their game. And now Triple H pounding away at Frogau. And it's, he's does the pedigree. The pedigree. The most devastating move in at least Triple H's repertoire. And he does it again. The pedigree. This is inhumane. This is wrong. I can't watch the... The blood. Oh no, and he taunts afterwards. That's just overkill. Come on. Come on. That's not good sportsmanship, Triple H. Frogal now out. Come on, Frogal. Fucking fling him over. No, she's gone. It's Triple H. The person I definitely didn't want to win out of everyone in this. Triple H has won the Royal Rumble. I don't know what to say. He beat out The Rock. He beat out Jesus. He beat out... Frogau. You gotta give it to the man. Love him or hate him. He gets results. Alright. Ciao.